Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Miguez here on this Monday. Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend this morning. Most of us waking up dry, but we will see a few showers throughout our daytime. So if you're heading out for work or helping the kids get ready for school, make sure you also pack in that umbrella. By tonight, we'll see another chance for rain, this time bringing in more thunderstorms and certainly more windy conditions. Winds from 30 to 40 miles per hour are not out of the question. Those more severe winds are actually expected to our south. That's why they're under a wind advisory, but we're going to get some remaining winds uh, from that system after it hits them. So even though they're going to be a little less strong, we're also expecting some of those leftover breezy winds. Here's a look at our Doppler Max radar, seeing a few showers and a couple of those heavy downpours to our south and east in parts of Greenville, Hopkinsville, Elkton, Madisonville. The rest of us could see some drizzle early this morning, but it does look like most of us are waking up quite cloudy, especially for those folks along and east of I-65, which this rain will be really beneficial for us as we are seeing several burn bans in the viewing area. Every single city and county in the red there uh, should just stay away from any kind of burns, fires taking place because it's just so dry out there. We're going to continue to see the risk for wildfires into the next coming days. Temperatures across the region, though, sitting in the 40s. We're at 46 in Greenville, 48 here in town, 45 in E-Town. And overall, our daytime will be quite breezy with winds gusting anywhere between about 10 to 15 miles per hour. But of course, those stronger winds are actually expected into the overnight. That's when we're going to be looking at those 30 to 40 mile per hour winds. For this morning, though, again, a few light rain showers passing through the area are not out of the question. We do turn a bit cloudy, especially later this afternoon. Temperatures peaking in the mid to upper 60s, so it's, it's going to feel nice temperature wise. But as we head closer to tonight, better chances for a couple of those showers and thunderstorms are expected, especially as we're already in bed. This is happening closer to midnight or so. Again, we are going to see moderate to heavy downpours. They are sliding through the area overnight, so this will be an overnight system. System. And again, the main concern will not be a severe weather threat. It's mostly going to be a strong wind threat with those winds up to 40 miles per hour. So if you do have any lightweight Christmas decorations, Thanksgiving Day decorations outside, it's not going to be a bad idea to pull those inside for the time being by around 11 a.m. Tomorrow we do look cloudy and dry. So there's that red light for Monday and Tuesday. Then we're back in the clear the day before Thanksgiving Day. Temperatures as we approach Thanksgiving Day will be in the 50s. So we still look nice and cool for Thursday. Then by Black Friday, those shoppers might need the ring gear. A few showers could occur by Saturday and Sunday. We're sunny and cool with temperatures dropping to the upper 40s and lower 50s.